Germans completed the Kiel Canal, which gave its high seas fleet places of waiting against the day when the warlord would give the word. German ships maneuver in the cold waters of the North Sea. And great men of war swing into battle lines. Their officers drinking a toast to their pug. And the Kaiser's sons, the Crown Prince, Eitel Friedrich and Joachim were soldiers too. The warlord is ceaseless, indefatigable, as he makes the rounds of his armies. Archduke Ferdinand, heir to the Austrian throne, shapes the other half of the Teutonic war machine. Caesars, Ferdinand and the Kaiser, hunted together and talked of days when German arms were born over many victorious fields. This was their last meeting. Black caskets carry Ferdinand and his wife to Vienna. They are the prelude to slaughter. Berlin, the Germans know the hour of glory is at hand. Russia mobilizes, and with his uncle, the Grand Duke Nicholas, with a white moustache, reviews the army. Ten million men will be enough to crush the Germans. The Kaiser and the King of Württemberg make ready to sweep the field with their marvelous new game. The other German king will help. These men are to go to Moscow, Paris, London. The Crown Prince will command an army. Von Mackensen will fight the Romanians. They go step before their emperor and before the son of their emperor. By 
while Frenchmen, still smarting from an earlier beating in 1871, know that though war is hell, sometimes Frenchmen must walk across its flaming coals. The French President Poincaré and General Joffre look on. While the Kaiser stands by the side of the road and is a friend of every man. England joins the Battle Royal. The King, his uncle, his son, send the little army, the Kaiser said, contemptible little army, over the old road, the road to Calais. Somehow in Turkey, the Sultan dreams that he must join the Christians to fight other Christians. It becomes a sacred Mohammedan duty. Louvain in Belgium, with its golden books, was burned. Ah me, when shall I see the thin, sad slates that cover up my home? Serbia watches the shells falling into Belgrade. The bombardment of Belgrade. Once again, an English army crosses the channel to stand in battle line. This time, pitching its tents among the French and facing... Australians come 10,000 miles to heed the call of English blood. A retired general named Paul von Hindenburg is made commander of the Germans who will oppose the Russians. The German Emperor stands on the sand dunes of Belgium and looks upon his men. England is across the Channel. And these men want to see London. And Frenchmen burrow in to stem the German tide. Some of these men will stay four years in this earth. Many will remain here forever. They are halting von Kluck's drive on Paris. General Gallieni's army leaves Paris for the front. And for the first time, men go to battle in taxicabs.